In other military-related news, secret World War II photos that show wartime Britain from the air are being made public for the first time. The pictures taken by American aircraft on practice flights over friendly territory before embarking on missions over Nazi Germany show details of England in defense mode. It's amazing looking at these photographs. Scattered around in the fields and also on the airfield itself, we have the aircraft. Reconnaissance missions in World War II were especially dangerous for the crews, as the planes often were stripped down to be flying cameras on longer than average missions. The photos show towns, airfields, and other landmarks from wartime Britain, a snapshot of the country from the mid-1940s. It was very dangerous. You had no um, weapons. They've been stripped out of your aircraft to provide extra space for your extra fuel so that you can get out to your targets and come back. The only things that you've got in your favour are your speed and your ability to fly. They really were crack pilots. One area, now the Newbury Racecourse, was also home to American troops who were rumoured to have buried ordnance in the facility before they left. There were rumours that some of the ordnance and tanks and vehicles were buried underground, so we had to get local architects in to excavate three or four holes at huge expense, and I think all they found was a teapot and a roll of barbed wire or something like that. 